Hi everyone, Amanda here with a light and medium dumbbell workout for you. And we're going to be focusing on upper body. So we're gonna start with an upper body warm up. We're gonna start with our chest. So we're gonna start by opening up the palms of the hands and pulling the shoulder blades back. So today I'm just going to be using 10 and 15 pound dumbbells. If you have heavier, of course you can use heavier for things like the rows. All right, let's go into a shrug. So we're going to shrug the shoulders up and then press the shoulder blades down. Shrug them up, press them down. Brace through the core, breathe through it. So we're pushing past neutral. So when the clavicle comes down, it's not just coming to rest, it's actually pushing past that. Breathe through it, two more. One more. All right, let's warm up our upper back. So we're gonna start with our arms extended out and we're gonna pull and slightly twist, pull and slightly twist. Now when I do this, I'm squeezing my shoulder blade back, bracing through my core, warming up the upper back. And let's do two more here. Squeeze the shoulder blade back. All right, let's lower it down. We're gonna to go to the mid back here. So we're gonna place our hands just behind the ears, feet are shoulder width apart. And from here, I'm gonna fold forward and then twist up, fold forward and twist up. Breathing through, we're getting some lower back in there as well. A little bit of glutes and hamstrings. But you're really getting that mid back and the back of the shoulder blade on the twist up. Fold forward, flat back, chest out. Two more, one on each side. All right, let's go to a shoulder circle here. We're gonna go forward, shoulder blades back and down. Breathe through this. Chest lifted, abs in. Full range of motion for those shoulders. Two more in this direction. Pulling back and down, one more, and switch directions. Here we go, warm it up, pulling the shoulder blades back and down. Abs in, keeping your chin and neck in a neutral position. Two more, and one left. All right, we're gonna start off with push-ups. You can do these kneeling, or from your toes, either one is fine, but make sure that you have a light or medium dumbbell nearby because we're gonna go straight into a single arm kneeling shoulder press. So let's start with our push-ups, and we're gonna start with 12 reps here. In the push-up position, I want my elbows to be just slightly dropped, so the elbow is about to align with my rib cage, so they're not way up here. So push-up position, knees or toes, abs are in, Ready? Let's go for 12. Here we go. One, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Two, exhale up. Three, brace your trunk. Four, abs are in. Five, you know, if you're not a fan of push-ups, you can just do chest press here. That's totally cool. So you can go into a position on your back and press the dumbbells up instead. Three more. Exhale up. One more. All right. Now I'm gonna to go to a kneeling position with the weight in my right hand. So my left leg is going to come forward. Kneeling position, start with your chest up, pelvis tilted forward, and we're gonna chest press this, or shoulder press it up. Ready, here we go. For 10, breathe through this. Nine, abs are in. Eight, brace your trunk. Seven, you can extend your arm out if you need the balance. Six, push through here. Five, keep it going. Four, three, almost there. Two, one left, one. All right, lower it down, shake it out. Give yourself a little breather. We're gonna go back to the mat. Another set of push ups, 10 this time. So we're making our way down. So push up position, knees or toes, shoulder blades back. Here we go. 
10, you can do chest press if you don't like push-ups. Nine, eight, breathe through this. Seven, slow and controlled. Six, keep the neck neutral. Five, abs in. Four, push through. Three, two, one. All right, this time I'm doing 10 reps over on my left arm. So my other leg is coming forward, chest lifted, pelvis tilted forward. Here we go. 10, press it up, stay steady through the trunk. Nine, abs are in. Eight, breathe through it. Seven, keep it going. Six, five, you can do it. Four, shoulders should be getting tired. Three, almost there. Two, and one. All right, this time we're on eight reps. So take a little breather here, catch your breath. We're going for eight push ups, knees or toes. So push up position, heels back, abs are in. Here we go. Eight, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Seven, slow and controlled. Six, exhale up. Five, you can do it. Four, breathe through. Three, these are getting tough. Two, one more. One. All right, this time we're on six reps on the shoulder press. Moving back to the right arm, left leg forward. Standing tall, abs in. Here we go. Six, breathe through it, stay steady. Five, keep pushing, you can do this. Four, three, brace your trunk. Two, almost there, almost there. One, all right, good job. One last set of push-ups, just six reps here, and then six more on the other side for our shoulder press. Get ready. Push-up position, last six. Make them good, here we go. Six, five, four, push through. Three, almost there. Two, and one. One last set of our shoulder press. So this time, left hand, right leg comes forward, lift the chest, six shoulder press. Here we go, six. You got it. Five. Keep pushing. Four. You got this. Three. Almost there. Two. And one. All right, good job. Grab some water. Shake it out. We're going to go to our back exercises next. Take a breather. Catch your breath. Now the shoulders assist the chest. So by working the chest before we work the shoulders, we're tiring out a major muscle group, making the exercises harder. All right, so now same thing here. We're gonna go to our upper back, followed by our shoulders. So we use my 15s in for a bent over row. So my feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. I'm gonna take a wide grip on this. So I'm gonna start with my hands just in front of my thighs, but as I row up, I'm gonna row wide and back down. So my back is flat, my chest is out. Let's start with 12, ready? Here we go. One, pause and squeeze. Breathe through it. Two, pull the shoulder blades together at the top of the movement. Three, keep it going. Four, really pause at the top. Five, back is flat, chest is out. Six, weight is on the heels. Seven, keep pushing yourself here. Eight, breathe through. Nine, squeeze at the top. Ten, two more. One left. And lower it down. So, up next, I'm gonna go to my lighter weights to a bent arm lateral raise. So my elbows are gonna be bent, my chest is lifted. When I come up, my upper arm is gonna be parallel to the floor. Now with this one, it's very easy to cheat. And what you can do to cheat is you can tuck in. Now I want you to avoid that, so avoid tucking 
and lifting, you want to maintain that degree of difficulty. So feet are shoulder width apart, chest is lifted, ready, here we go, 10, breathe through it, 9, pause and squeeze at the top, 8, abs in, 7, keep pushing yourself here, 6, breathe through, 5, you can do it, 4, make sure you're not choking up on that weight, 3, keep pushing, 2, almost there, 1, all right, lower it down. So what you can do now is switch your grip if you like, if your shoulders are getting tired. So this time I'm gonna to go to a regular grip, bent over row, for 10. So I'm gonna fold forward. I'm just gonna pull up like I'm pulling my shoulder blades back and together. Okay, ready, flat back, chest down. Go for 10 reps, here we go. 10, you can do that wide overhand grip if you prefer. Nine, pause and squeeze. Eight, keep it going. Seven, pause at the top. Six, breathe through it. Five, chest out. Four, keep pushing yourself. Three, almost there. Two, and one. All right, let's lower it down. And we're gonna take it to eight reps here. So, flat back, chest lifted, elbows pointed to 90 degrees. Ready? Here we go. Eight, squeeze it up. Seven, lift the chest. Six, pull the shoulder blades back and together. Five, keep it up. Four, exhale up, inhale down. Three, almost there. Two, keep it up. One, all right, let's lower it down. One last round. We're on eight this time. So regular rows or wide grip overhand rows. So flat back, chest out, weight on your heels. Let's go for eight. Eight, squeeze at the top. Seven, let your hands hang down. The wrist should not be curling in. Keep it going. Five, abs pulled in, chest is out. Four, squeeze it up. Three, almost there. Two, and one. All right, one last set of our lateral raise. We're on six reps. So flat back, chest lifted, elbows down and pointed to 45 degrees. Here we go. Six, breathe through. Five, keep pushing. Four, squeeze it up. Three, you can do it. Two, almost there. One, all right, lower it down. Grab some water, take a breather, catch your breath. We've got a bicep curl combo coming up next. So nice long breather and I'll demonstrate the next one. So our next exercise is going to be a supinated bicep curl. Supinating means I'm going to turn my palms up as I curl. So I'm gonna use my 15 pound dumbbells. So my back is flat, slight bend in the knees, slight bend in the elbows, so they're not locked. They're just slightly bent, but hanging to my sides. Breathe through it, and I'm gonna curl it up. I'm gonna turn my palms up, and then lower them down. So ready, grab your medium dumbbells here. And feet shoulder width apart. Lift your chest, let's go for 12. Here we go. One, slow and controlled on the lowering. We don't wanna rush through. Two, breathe through this. Three, chest up. Four, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Five, abs in. Six, make sure you're not swinging through the lower back at all. It's slow and controlled. Seven, keep it going. Eight, belly button pulled in. Nine, three left here. Ten, two to go. And then we're gonna switch to our light weights. Eleven. One more, and 12. All right, let's lower it down. I'm gonna switch to my 10s. 
Now for this one, it's another type of curl, but my palms are gonna be down the whole time, but they will be slightly angled. So for this, I'm gonna set my shoulder blades back. On this one, I'm gonna do an alternating curl. I'm gonna curl so you can see my elbow is slightly facing inward and then palm is slightly facing inward and curl the other side. All right, let's go for 12 here. Here we go. One, curl it up nice and slow. Two, again, we're not flinging the weight. Three, squeeze the forearms. Four, lift up nice and high. Five, keep breathing through it. Six, going for 12. Seven, you should feel those forearms getting tired. Eight, nine, three to go here. 10, squeeze it in, you can do it. 11 and 12. All right, to shake out our arms, we are going to do punches for 15 seconds on each arm, starting with the right. Ready? Let's go. Just the right side here. Strong punches, give our grip a break, but keep those arms working. Five more seconds, and then we're gonna switch over to the left. Here we go, left for 15. Shake it out. Keep pushing yourself, you can do it. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, shake out those arms. We're gonna take it back to our supinating curls. This time we're on 10 reps. So I'm going back to my 15s again. My chest is lifted, slight bend in the knees, weight on the heels, ready, curl up for 10. Here we go. Both arms, 10. Breathe through it, slow controlled on the lowering. Nine, the lowering phase is actually where those tiny muscle tears happen that the muscles need to rebuild in the 48 hours after you work them. And that is where we're really getting our muscle building focus from. So it's not so much the lifting phase, it's actually the lowering phase that makes that much of a difference. We got three more here. Keep it up. Three, almost there. Two, forearms should be tired. One, lower it down. All right, I'm going back to my tens, going back to my alternating forearm curls. So lighter weight, set my shoulder blades back, slight bend in the knees, alternating for 10. Here we go, 10, squeeze it up, nine. Try not to lean to one side or the other on an alternating curl. You wanna keep your core steady. Breathe through it. You got this. Four more. Keep it going. Two left. One more here. Whew, forearms are tired now. All right, let's lower it down. We're gonna punch it out with the right arm. Ready, let's go. 15 seconds on the clock. This gives us time to shake out our arms, a little bit of recovery for our grip. We'll have one last round of those biceps coming up. Almost there, three, two, left, let's go. Punch it out, you can do this. Use the upper back, keep breathing. You're almost there, three, two, one. All right, shake out those arms, one last round. This time we're on eight, let's grab the 15s. So chest lifted, shoulder blades back and down, supinating curls, here we go. Eight, again, try not to fling, I know you're getting tired. Seven, abs in, stand tall. Six, don't rush through the lowering phase. Five, breathe through it, you can do this. Four, keep it going. Three, push through, push through. Two, almost there. One, all right, one last alternating forearm curl here. Let's grab those tens. We're on eight reps. So stand tall, shoulder blades back, slight bend in the knees. Here we go. Curl it up. Palm down. One. Breathe through for eight. Two. Chest lifted. 
three, try not to lean to one side or the other, four, squeeze it up, five, keep pushing, you can do this, six, seven, almost there, eight, all right, one last round of punches to shake out those arms, ready, let's go, 15 seconds, those biceps are tired now, keep it going, Strong punches here. Three, two, switch left side. You can do it. Water break coming up after this round. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, one. All right, grab some water, shake out the arms. We're going back to our mat next. So, I'm just gonna move my dumbbells to the edge of my mat, make it a little easier. And I'm just gonna be using the 15s on this one. We're gonna be doing pec flies and overhead dumbbell pulls. So, in the pec fly, you can use either or. Now, if you have any shoulder pain in this, I'll show you the movement without any weight. It's a wide grip with a slight bend in the elbows. So the weight comes down, upper arm touches the floor and back up. Now, any shoulder pain, wrist pain in this one, I recommend doing a chest press instead. So I'm gonna use my 15s here. And I'm gonna lower my head down. Palms are facing in. The weight is over top of my nipple line and rib cage. So I don't want them way over my face here. That'll put extra strain on, this, on the shoulders. So shoulder blades are down, ready, nice and wide. Here we go, we're going for 10 this time. Breathe through it, 10, really slow and controlled. Wide arms like you're gonna hug a tree. Slow controlled lowering face, so there's a slight bend in the elbows the whole time. Breathe through, abs are in, four. Keep pushing here. Five, nice and wide, really slow lowering. Six, gently press your lower back down into the mat. Seven, we've got three more here. Eight, breathe through this, just touch down lightly, you're not resting. Nine, there's one more, and 10. Now I'm gonna lower one of my dumbbells down, and I'm gonna go to an overhead pull. So I'm gonna place both my hands on one dumbbell. If you prefer to hold two dumbbells, I'm gonna go back, if you're stronger in this motion, you can. Breathe through it, so I'm gonna press the back of my shoulder blades down to the mat. The weight is over top of my face. My arms are extended, but just a slight bend in the elbows. I'm going to lower down with my elbows relatively straight, other than that slight bend. And I'm gonna to touch down to the floor and then pull back up. All right, ready? Let's go for 10, here we go. Lower down nice and slow, 10. I want you to just gently press your lower back down into the floor, nine. Slow lowering phase here, eight. Breathe through it. You wanna get that big stretch through the upper back, seven. Just touching down gently, six. We're not resting the dumbbell. We're still keeping the tension on. Five, that just tells us that we went low enough. Breathe through it, four. Abs in, press the lower back down. Three, big stretch. Almost there. Two, one more. And one. All right, we're gonna take it to eight reps here. So, pec flies, palms facing in, shoulder blades back and down. Ready, nice and uh, slow, here we go. Lower it down, touch down, and bring it up. That's eight. Breathe through this. Seven, slow and controlled. Six, bracing the trunk. Five, push through it. Four, slow lowering. 
three, almost there, two, one more, and I'm gonna switch up my overhead pull just a little, one. All right, I'm gonna lower one down. Now, if you want to keep your feet flat on the floor and your knees bent, you can. I'm gonna show you one more alternative here. I'm gonna lift my legs into a dead bug position. So my hips, knees, and ankles are all at 90. We don't want the angles loose, we want the heels pressed out. So, starting again with the dumbbell over the face, holding the core tight and the heels pressed out. Let's go for eight, here we go. Stretch it out, eight. Now you'll notice that your core has to work a lot harder here. Keep that lower back pressed down, seven. Stretch it out, six. Breathe through here, five. Bracing the core, abs are in. So we're gently pressing that lower back down as we extend out. Big stretch. One more. And one. All right, one last set of pec flies. This time we're on six reps. So I'm gonna grab my second dumbbell, bring it up, palms are facing in, shoulder blades are down. Ready? Let's go. Six reps here, nice and wide. Six, breathe through it. Slow controlled lowering. Five, press the lower back down into the floor. Four, grip should be getting tired here. Three, keep breathing. Two, one more. And then we're gonna switch up that overhead pull again. All right, lower it down. So this time, I'm gonna have my feet elevated. Once again, my shoulders, I'm sorry, my heels are gonna be pressed out. My shoulder blades down. Starting with the weight over my face. Ready, let's go for six. Touch it down, heels pressed toward the ceiling. Six, I'm gently pressing my lower back down into the floor. Five, my core has to stay steady here. Breathe through it. Four, big stretch in the lats. Three, almost there. Two, and one. All right, let's lower our dumbbell down, take a water break, and we have our last round. So this round, I'm gonna do kneeling on the mat. My ceiling is a little too low here in my basement in order for me to do the tricep overhead press without hitting the ceiling. But if your ceilings are higher, you can do this one in a standing position. So I'm gonna use two dumbbells here. Now, the reason I like to use two is because when I use only one dumbbell, I'll show you what happens. If I take my right hand and I wrap it around the dumbbell and I take my left hand, all the left hand does is support. So when I go to do that overhead tricep press, my right arm is doing most of the work. And for most of us, the right arm is already the stronger arm. So we, want, we don't wanna keep strengthening the stronger arm. We wanna make sure that both arms are working equally. So in this case, I'm gonna use my 15s. You might need your 10s for this, or even just 110, depending on your tricep strength. I'm gonna put the hexagonal part of the dumbbells together. I'm gonna to bring them back behind my head, and I'm gonna press up. All right, ready? Let's go for 12, here we go. One, squeeze it up. Two, stay steady through your core. Three, elbows are in tight. Four, I'm used to using rubber dumbbells, they hold together better. Five, keep it going. Six, breathe through it. Seven, full extension of the top. Eight, nine, three left, three left, push it up. 10, almost there, 11, keep it going, one more, 12. All right, let's lower it down. In between, we're gonna go to a kneeling spinal twist. So, kneeling position with my back flat, so my knees and hips are stacked, my wrists, elbows, and shoulders are stacked, and my abs are pulled in, so I'm just pulling my be belly button in toward my spine. I take my right hand, place it behind my ear, and I'm going to twist gently, looking to the side as I twist. Ready? Here we go for eight. Eight. Seven. 
Use those upper back muscles. Six. Look to the side. Five. Squeeze it back. Four. Breathe through it. Three. Almost there. Two. Keep it up. One. All right, lower it down. Eight on the other side here. Ready? Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Chest is out. Back is flat. Five. Pull the shoulder blade back. Four. Breathe through. Keep it going for two more. And one. All right, let's lower it down. So we're just going to shake out those arms. We're going to take it back to our tricep press. So once again, you can use one or two dumbbells, um, but I prefer to use two on this. So kneeling position. If your knees are getting tired, you can go to a single kneeling position. It's going to be a little easier on the knees and a little more challenging through the core. Ready? Here we go for 10. One, two, keep it up, keep it up. Three, squeeze it up. Four, going for 10 reps. Five, elbows are in tight. Six, full extension. Seven, stay steady. Eight, two left here. Nine, one more. And 10. Lower it down. Let's take it to our kneeling spinal twist. So, flat back, knees and elbows are stacked. Ready? Here we go. One, we're going for eight. Two, pull that shoulder blade back. Three, keep it going. Four, five, exhale up. Six, we've got two more. Seven, almost there. Eight, all right, switch it out. Flat back, chest out, here we go. Eight, nice big stretch. Seven, chest out here. Six, focus on mobility. Five, pushing the range of motion just a little bit. Four, three, almost there. Two, and one. All right, one last tricep press. Once again, I'm gonna go single knee and I'm gonna switch this up and go to eight reps for the last one. So, shoulder blades are back. Chest is lifted. Bring those dumbbells together. Here we go. Stay steady. Eight. Squeeze it up. Nine. Abs are in. Eight. Push through here. Seven. Six. Keep it going. Five. Breathe through. Breathe through. Four. Triceps are tired here. Three. Stay steady. Two. Almost there. One. All right, lower it down. One last set of those eight spinal twists on each side to finish the round, and then we'll stretch. So tuck the hand behind the ear. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Breathe through it. Six. Five. Four. Keep pushing. Three. Two. And one, one more on the other side. Flat back, chest out, here we go. Eight, seven, six, those abs are in. Five, four, three, almost there. Two, one. All right, let's stretch it out. We're gonna go stretch out our back, child pose here, kneeling position. Walk those hands out and drop down. So your head is going to be between your upper arms. Breathe through. Let your heart rate come down slowly during the stretches. I'm going to slowly come up. Now to stretch out my chest, I'm going to take my 15 pound dumbbell and I'm actually just going to place it on the side of my mat and then drop down 
and angle it away. And you can lean to one side if you need to. Get a nice big stretch in the shoulder blades and the chest. Once again, you're catching your breath, letting your heart rate do come down slowly. And let's come up, I'm gonna switch it out. Bring my dumbbell to the other side, angle my body away, and then drop down. You can also angle the dumbbell away from you. bring it up. I'm going to set my dumbbell aside, come to a seated position. I'm going to stretch out my shoulders. So I'm going to bring those arms across, lift the chest, breathe through it. So you can do a lot with just light dumbbells at home. So a lot of exercises don't tend to work so well with light dumbbells. Um, chest press might be a little compromised, but if you've already done something like push-ups ahead of time, your chest is gonna be tired anyway, so you can get a lot more out of it. Switch sides. But don't be afraid to work with what you've got at home. It might feel a bit easy when you first start, but once you tire out, once you fatigue the muscle, it's just a matter of adjusting the order of the exercises or pre-fatiguing the muscle with an exercise like a push-up ahead of time. And let's stretch out our, our mid-back. So I'm just gonna sit up tall, Take my hand, turn to my right side, lifting through the chest and just gently pressing my hand against the outside of my knee. So we just have to be a little bit more creative with our routine when we're using light dumbbells, not necessarily relying on the same exercises that we do in the weight room. And switch sides. Breathing through it. And let's stretch out our forearms here. So from here, we're just gonna turn the palms up and then splay those fingers out. And this one's gonna feel pretty good after you've been typing all day. Splay the fingers out, really stretching them out, and then bring them in, make a gentle fist, and then back out, splay the fingers out. Breathing through it, one more gentle fist here. and relax the upper body. So that's our upper body workout for today, and I'll see you tomorrow with a cardio workout. Have a great day.